So there's no point in being pessimistic. What we need to do is invent cocktails or drink cocktails for the autumn. Yeah, the, the autumnal season is starting to appear because obviously we've got an abundance of plums in the supermarkets Plum and stores. Plums. They've been in season Spanish ones from August right through, but now mm. we've got the English ones kind of a bit early. Actually, last week my daughter's found a couple of conkers on the ground up in the park. Already? Already, conkers are all falling. So that shows the weather, how it's really oh, changed. Oh no, the world's broken. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which you're not allowed, you know, conquer fights not allowed in the schools no more either, are they? Why it's not? Been banned. That's just Dangerous. Just ludicrous. Yeah. Anyway, these are Spanish plums, different from the English variety in that they are uh, obviously bigger and darker, but they've got a lot of citrus. They're quite sharp. They can be when they're well, they Spanish. Up. Spanish, yeah. Should be buying British ones. We got, we got British on the second British, drink. Yeah. We have British after, but Spanish plums obviously have a lot of tannin under the skin, mm. so they can be quite sour and bitter with I a like sweetness that. to them. But that bit of juice coming out. Are we girls obsessed with plum sheets before? So I thought I'd do a, a Spanish, if you like, inspired odd. drink from the Caribbean, a daiquiri. Now, a lot of mm. fruit daiquiris are made with various fruits. This could be made with plum. Plum's quite an underused fruit in bars, to be honest with you, but it's yeah. very, very versatile. So we've got some Spanish style rum from the Dominican nice Republic. Mm. Double measure of that. We're going to put into about 20 really ml of good. lime juice, some sugar just to sweeten it through. Now, going to need about 50 ml of sugar because the plums can have a sourness to them, as well as that kind of bitterness you get for the tannin and some plum liqueur. Why is tannin? So tannin is what you get on the skin, underneath the skin of like grapes that gives the dryness. It's like the, the bit that strips your mouth of moisture. Tannic as they call it. Okay. But it's also where you've got, got contain a lot of chemicals, the polyphenols which are actually good for you. They're like antioxidants all underneath that part of the skin. So I don't know if it's going to have much effect with nine measures of alcohol however but slight health side nice to it. Try. Now you could blend this if you wanted to Traditional fruit daiquiris are blended, you know, in a blender with a whizzed up and made slush pipe. But I'm going to say over crushed ice, I think it's nice because mm. plums give a nice texture. The daiquiri itself goes way back to Cuba. Uh, it's discovered by American miners who like rum sours in, the, in, the, uh, in Santiago and they call it daiquiri after the mines they worked in. Mm. And the daiquiri has well, been, been popular since about the 1890s pretty much. So there we've got a plum daiquiri. It's got a lovely texture, I think you're softness. Like this. The rum's got a woody character, which really complements the style of the plums, the wild of Spanish plums. What do you think? Mm. Do you like? Yeah. You like? I like. There should be a sourish to it from the plum, but also a texture as well. Yeah, that's good. You, yeah, you're kind nice. of tasty. Yeah, well. I like it when they're sort of bitter or sour. Mm. Now here we've got the Victoria plum, which we discovered I like? Is in I England. Like green gauges. Green gauges are great. They're also very green British gauges. plum. Yeah, but you don't get them, do you, very often? I've never ever tried one. Haven't you? No, no, no. Yeah, they're great when they're oh, ripe. It's so like they're the green, plum, but it's green. Oh, very green. It's kind really of sourish. Yeah. It's like a gooseberry. No, it's like Different a plum. Gooseberry is really sour. But so now like we've got vic uh, Victoria plums. They're in season now. They're great. They come mm. from the south coast and the southwest and Sussex. They're a bit more sweeter than Spanish. They're quite um, quite perfumed yeah, as well. So we're going to have a measure of cognac. Oh, wait. Now I call this a Victoria cocktail because Queen Victoria, the plums are named after her. She was partial to cognac. Got some slow gin. The, the slow berries are relative of the English plum as well. Mm. We've got a little bit of chocolate liqueur. It has got that warming effect. I still feel the heat here, so very good for autumn. Yeah. Bit of cacao and also again a bit of a plum Let's liqueur. That. Mm. That's lovely. So what you're going to have here is you've got a nice combination of the cognac and a bit of sweet vermouth that we're going as well. Cognac, the plum, the cacao, the brandy, and then a shot of vermouth to make it more very aromatic. So it's going to be a lovely, lovely combination of flavours. Very different from the first drink you had. Yeah, it's a lot of alcohol on this one. Right. It's more liqueur, though. So then you just a one shot of the cognac, which is the most What alcohol. are you saying, liqueurs? The liqueurs are lower in alcohol. So in this drink itself, you probably, this drink is probably about two and a half units. Okay. Well, it's quite big in volume. Where that one is probably about three, so it's a, it's a okay. weaker drink, but rather delightful. Now the chocolate cognac work well with plum, really good. The plum gives a lovely texture, they're nice and fragrant. And there's mm. the natural sweetness from the English plum, and just get a little good zest color. of orange. Nice glass as well mm. on cool. top, just to get that nice orange over the top there, and it really nice. gives it a lovely, elegant right. top note. Quick taste. Ooh, nice it's top nice. note. Oh, very nice. More like Seriously after drink. good. Seriously good. Thank you, Wayne. Right, for details of those drinks, just go to our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash food trust, and they're great.